Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Craig Cummings, Texas Department of Public Safety. Um, today we're here to provide some updates on the search for 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham, who went missing on Thursday of last week. Um, I'm also joined by Polk County Sheriff Byron Lyons and Polk County District Attorney Shelley Sitton. Um, I want to say that investigators are following active leads based on tips that the, and, and evidence that we have gathered. The videos submitted to investigators by the community have been very helpful. We're looking for and asking the public's help for additional video on FM 3126 that shows the highway. This video would have been on Thursday, February 15th between 6.30 a.m. and 8 a.m. So again, that's video from FM 3126 on Thursday, February 15th between 6.30 a.m. and 8 a.m. that shows the highway. I also want to announce the Polk County Crime Stoppers reward has been increased to $10,000 for information leading to the arrest and prosecution of the person responsible for Audrey's disappearance. We are asking the public, based on the evidence that we have been getting right now, to stay away from Scenic Loop FM 3277 unless you have a need to be there. That is a potential point of interest in this investigation. We've had a lot of people driving down there. Um, please stay away. Let the investigators do what they are doing and our volunteers what they are doing so that we can bring Audrey home. <clears throat> we also want to say that we're thankful for the Polk County District Attorney's Office for their continued legal advice as they provide that to investigators in this continued search for Audrey. Um, the investigators have given McDougal, who was, who was arrested Friday on an unrelated charge, um, several opportunities to cooperate, and we remain hopeful that he will begin helping in this case. Now, we also want to address some rumors um, that have been circulating. McDougal is not required to register as a sex offender. Uh, we would refer you to the various counties that prosecuted McDougal for inquiries regarding his criminal history. Um, and we also want to say that McDougal resides in a camper behind the residence where Audrey lives with her father, grandparents, and other family. The family does have a relationship with McDougal. And with that, I want to turn it over to Polk County Sheriff Byron Lyons for some remarks for him before we open it up for questions. Good afternoon. Since Harvard was reported missing, uh, we have been working with investigators and volunteers, uh, doing everything we can to bring Audrey home. Unfortunately, <clears throat> uh, I've had bronchitis and it has impacted my, my ability to speak. So that is why I want to say first thank you to the Department of Public Safety and to the FBI for assisting me with the social media and, uh, and, and my media briefings. I also want to take a moment to thank all the investigators and the volunteers and members of the community who are working to bring Audrey home. The outpouring of support from the tips and from the videos and the donations of food and, and water has just been inspiring. As a community, as a county, as a state and a nation, the search for Audrey has brought out some of the most exceptional people that I have come to know. I have been in contact with the family and they want everybody to know that they thank you and they appreciate all the prayers and how you've kept Audrey and them in your hearts. And they just ask that you continue to, to pray for them and Audrey's being able to bring her home. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has helped in this case. Any some questions? He was he was uh, was probably taken to the dropping off at the bus stop, and we do feel at this point that he was the last person who seen uh, Audrey. Did he do that regularly? Did he take her to the bus stop every day? Was that something that he routinely did? There has there has been information found that there were some occasions that he he did take, drop her off at the bus stop or even take her to school if she missed the bus. There's rumors flying about that McDougal has confessed. Can you address that rumor? Yeah. McDougal, uh, McDougal has not confessed. Um, he has been talking with some of the investigators, but at this point in time, he has not confessed. Yeah, 
you know, and that's kind of why one of the reasons that we're asking for the videos, we're trying to piece together a timeline of where he's been and, and uh, the, the travel that he took, the roadways that he took. So this area is just one that's in, in particular that we can say that we know that he was, he was in. And so we're, we're making sure that we do extensive search of those areas. But the problem is, is that when we have a lot, and I know that people are concerned and people want help, but a lot of time when we bring too many people into an area, it hinders uh, our efforts in being able to try to, uh, to find and locate evidence. We feel strongly today that that backpack that was found is a high probability that it's going to be Audrey's. There's a lot of water around her home. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes, we do feel as though we are we are investigating a criminal investigation, and at this point in time, as we we conduct our investigation. We are not leaving out or adding in any discharges. We are investigating the evidence as if, as if any, if we find any, and then we'll let that be determined. You know, once we get all the evidence put together on what charges, if any, will be filed. And be honest with you, I, I don't know. I can't answer that right now because it's in another county. I just, the only thing that I've been able to find out that it was not something that they were able to uh, require him to register for as a sex offender. Have you gone water? taken the Google to the dam or the Trinity River since he's been arrested? There have been some occasions where, uh, on one occasion where we have taken uh, McDougal that he agreed to, to work with us and has taken us to certain locations. She lives around water. Have you kept the water around her house? I was going to ask about the email that was sent to Karen on Friday. Uh, didn't even know about the disappearance. Didn't even know and asked if you provide videos. Did they respond to that? That email says that it, it asked Karen um, to look for videos for him at 3 a.m. on Thursday. Is there a possibility that Audrey Cunningham could have disappeared sooner, before the 7 a.m.? No. And see, one of the things in, in our investigation, when we conduct investigation, we want to make sure that we try to capture a, a, a good timeline. So even if we're looking at a projected time, say if it's 7, we still want to go to back up, you know, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning because we want to know exactly what the individual or suspect or suspects may have been doing up until that point. Someone asked about water around the house. Around the house. So has that area been searched? Yeah. That was the first area the, on the night that she was reported missing. Uh, volunteers came together with law enforcement. That was the first area of Southern Region Search. Sheriff, do you believe... No. No. When did I take it? 6? 645. 645 is, the, is, the, is when we felt like she went missing. Do you believe that Audrey is still alive? I'm hoping and praying that she's still alive. I am not giving up hope that we'd be able to bring Audrey home. So, yes, I am hoping that she yet is still alive. And we're going to work just as hard to make sure that we do everything that we can to try to bring her home. Has McDougal been cooperative? Is he speaking with investigators? Okay, we've got a couple questions at a time. Is McDougal being cooperative? Is he speaking with investigators? Is he not talking? I, when you say is he being cooperative, I think that Mr. Madugal, he is what what he's doing um, on occasions. He will, and I, I use that word cooperate um, lightly, but he is somewhat, you know, working and talking with the investigators. But um, we are very cautious on the information that we are he's giving. Are you guys able to count on GPS? In this case? We, I will say this that there are at this point, Mr. Madugal is our main person. Of, of interest, but we are not ruling out anyone else who may be or involved or may not be involved. We we are not just honing in on just this one individual. We're making sure that we're covering all stones. Do you anticipate charges being filed in connection with this case? Any time soon? 
I anticipate that if the evidence presents itself that proves that uh, Mr. McDougal has committed an offense or a crime, that charges will be filed in him. Okay. Mr. McDougal, have taken some places? Are you asking the court to search places for him to run down again? So in, in speaking with the, uh, the Rangers, we're just asking them, hey, take us to where uh, in any places that you think or where you may have been. And so he's, he has done that on one occasion. Okay, and, and kind of like I addressed in, um, in, my, in my opening statement is that I am so grateful for those who have came out and volunteered, raised their hand to want to participate. Um, and yes, the volunteers have been great and have been very valuable to us. But one of the things that we have to do is that we have to limit and we have to make sure that we, we don't overdo it. Because remember, we are yet still, while we try to bring Audrey home, we are yet still making sure that if there's evidence or if there's anything that we need to, to capture or anything that we need to be able to, to retain, we want to make sure that we don't have so many people that we damage or destroy evidence at the time. So the way we are today, we had had the volunteers meeting over at uh, Tigerville Park. And then as we needed them, we would send an officer over to get those folks and then take them to an area to help search. Hey. At this time right now, we, we, we don't want to share locations that he's taken us to other than to say that there are multiple places of interest that we have gone to and have made searches and, and I'm sure before to, uh, this day is out we'll be searching other locations. Did you, did you find something there? Did you find something there? Why did you find something there? What is he saying when you say, oh, this is where we drove? And really when it comes down to it, I wasn't there with those officers and so I, I can't answer to exactly what was just said other than these are just places that he uh, instructed them to go. Has McDougal made a claim that he dropped her off at the school bus? No. Was something recovered there from those locations? Is that where the backpack was found or other items were found? The only thing at this point in time right now that, that I can speak to for sure is going to be that backpack. So do you think he's given you false leads? You know, and that's the thing is that we have to just continue to work all the leads that he's, he's presenting to us. Um, whether or not they're false or not, it, it depends upon how, we, how it works out and how the investigators are able to put those pieces together. Have you talked with Audrey's dad? Cell phone records maybe, like where he could be? We are, able, we are working with every, every tool made available to us, whether it be cell phone, whether it be video, which has been an awesome tool for us. We are using every tool made available to us to try to piece together a, a window or a, a, a picture of where he may have gone. Have you talked with Audrey's dad or family members? I'm sorry, repeat that. At this time right now, he has not acknowledged that, whether or not she's made it, whether or not he dropped her off or she made it to the bus stop or not. Has he admitted to leaving the house with her? Uh, yes. Can you clarify that location where you're telling people to stay away from? It's called the Scenic Route, just the name of it, where it is? It's off of the Scenic Loop. It's the, um, well, let me say it is. I, it's in the Scenic Loop area that near Tigerville Park. If I say on national television, don't go to this specific location, kind of defeat my purpose. But I, I, I am saying that there are officers that, that's in the area who are at instructing people or directing people away from those areas, please work with those officers if, if they ask you to turn around or they ask you to go into another location while they, they would search those areas. Well, our thing is, and, and the, the district attorneys here, one of the things that we must do is that we must not jump to conclusions. The, we want to make sure that we take all the evidence that we have collected. Yes, he may have been the last person with her, and yes, she is missing at this time. But we want to make sure that whatever evidence that we collect and that we, we place on an affidavit today is going to be something that's going to hold up in the court later. Um, it does us no good to prematurely charge him now, and then three, four months from now, it get tossed out of court because 
we were moving too fast. So I ask you, please understand as we work carefully through this, because Audrey deserves this. She deserves us taking our time. She deserves us making sure that we do it right. She deserves to have her voice to be heard. And I want to make sure that we do that and we do it the right way. I will say this, um, we are using every tool made available to us to be able to work cell phones and videos uh, and video to be able to try to track his, his movements that morning. Has any other person of interest come to fruition and have they been eliminated? There have been other persons that we have searched for that have been eliminated. There have been other persons that we have certainly have, have looked at and at this point in time we're not ruling anyone out. You know, at this point we are still, it's an active investigation and everybody's going to be looked at, everybody's going to be maintained until we can definitely say for sure either you are or you're not a party to this investigation. What are the details about his aggravated assault charge that he's currently in jail for? Can you expand on that? The details, I, 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 what I can go to in on that was it was an aggravated assault that took place um, uh, August, I believe, and that in that investigation there were some, um, in, during that investigation, if there were some circumstances that took place that would not allow us to be able to arrest him at that time, and he would not cooperate, would not uh, basically lawyer up, would not talk with the investigators. But on, um, I think Saturday, Friday night, whichever night he was arrested, he did make the statement to the to that of uh, that offense, which at that point in time he was arrested for. What was the offense? What did, what is he accused of doing in that case? It was a hit. Aggravated assault, he assaulted another individual. Okay. Male, female? Male. We've also heard that he has, you know, obviously a violent criminal history. There's also rumors out there that he has affiliation with the Aryan Brotherhood. Are you able to confirm that? We have we have heard those same things, and we've been told that he, there is an affiliation with the Aryan Brotherhood. Those are some things that we will come back after we are able to get Audrey located. And we will, we will tie those things down to prove whether or not he's affiliated or not. Have you guys gone to the and search for any evidence in the house, the RV, the home itself? Those things have been done. Yes, ma'am. Time for two more questions. Have you talked with Audrey's dad or family members? Yes. Are they cooperating? Very much so. And for this, for this to be our last question, uh, to answer your question is that basically the way it was explained to us is that he was a friend of the family, a friend of the father, and he was allowed to live there in a trailer behind the house, and he was, he was a friend of the family's. Um, and, and basically that's why he was there, allowed to live there. I appreciate what everyone has done. I appreciate your, your helping us get Audrey's story out there.